Now we're going to look at Snell's law. Now this law has been derived in the 1500s already. Uh, 15 to 1600. And it works as follows. It gives us a relationship uh, between two different mediums and their refractive indexes. So here's the boundary. Here's the normal. And here is your incendent ray with the angle of incendence. And then re the refracted ray with the angle of refraction. Now, if we call this medium 1 and medium 2, medium 1 will have a refractive index of N1. And medium 2 will have a refractive index of N2. And this is data known from, um, yeah, from, the, from the table that you have in your textbook or any other data sheet. Now Snell's law basically looks like this. It says N1 sine theta 1 equals N2 sine theta 2. Now, theta 1 corresponds with medium 1. So, theta 1 would be this one. And theta 2 will be that one. Remember, we will define it as 1 and 2 and not uh, incendent and ref refracted. Um, because this law can be applied the other way around as well. And make sure your calculator is set on degrees and, and not something else. So otherwise this law won't work. Now we're going to do a practical example in applying Snell's law. So here we have a scenario. And this is light traveling from air into water. And the angle of incendence is 30 degrees. And they ask us to calculate the angle of refraction for this scenario. Okay, so from our data, we know that N for water, I mean for air, is 1. And N for water is 1.33. And now we're going to apply Snell's law. So N1 sine theta 1 equals N2 sine theta 2. And you can clearly see it there, so with theta 2, that's the unknown in this case. Just get my calculator. So we've got 1 sine theta 1, which is 30 degrees, and 1,33 sine theta 2, which is the unknown. So sine 30 is a half, as you guys know, 0 0.5 divided by 1.33. And then we take the second function of sine, and you will get an angle of 22,08 degrees for this scenario. This is example one. I will do another example now with the opposite in the opposite direction. Okay, so the second example of our boundary. We have our normal and we have light traveling at an angle of 30 degrees from medium 1 to medium 2 
and again the angle of refraction is the unknown now medium one in this case is glass and medium two is air so now let's apply Snell's law so n1 sine theta 1 equals n2 sine theta 2 so it is for glass it's 1 comma 5 2 sine 30 equals 1 times sine theta 2 so we can do a quick calculation 1.52 times sine 30 divided by 1 and take second function of that value you will get sine theta 2 as 49,46 degrees